We have a cube, we have a wall, and we have a camera. The cube is simply a cube mesh instance with a red material on it. Nothing special about it. The wall is a cube mesh instance as well with no material, and the camera is just a camera. Now, in order to get that transparent effect, all you have to do is set a spatial material to the wall, click the material, and select Use Shadow to Opacity. This causes the surrounding light in the environment to affect the albedo layer um, of the uh, mesh instance, or excuse me, the material on the mesh instance. You can see that by adjusting the alpha, it affects the transparency. To get the hole in the wall, you'll need to add a light to the scene, and there's your hole. In order to get rid of that additional uh, light it's adding, you can adjust the energy to zero. What I like to do is attach the light to the actual cube. And there you have it. Just like so. And of course, you can always adjust the light uh, properties to increase the radius, attenuation, make it sharper, make it larger, make it smaller. Just like so. Of course, this works with any light, so I can add a spotlight, get rid of the uh, Omni light, rotate the spotlight to here, increase its radius or range. Um, you can increase or decrease attenuation to sharpen it, enlarge it, doesn't matter. And there you have it. Now to make the camera track to the actual cube, all you have to do is add the camera to the cube. And there you have it. Now you may have noticed that the wall is transparent, which you may not like. And that's simply because it's accepting, or the mesh material is accepting the light from the scene. So all you have to do to fix this is change the default um, world environment to one of your own. So add the world environment node, click environment, new environment, click it again, click sky, click procedural sky, and now all you have to do is click procedural sky again and adjust the energy. You can adjust it up to 1.88 and you'll have a solid wall. You can click the uh, spotlight again and there you have it. A nice solid wall. I should mention that if the uh, sky contribution is totally at 1, you can't exchange the uh, ambient lighting. So if you really want to add ambient lighting, all you have to do to get the same effect is to reduce the energy down like so decrease the sky contribution. You have a somewhat solid wall. You can kind of increase the energy a little more. Now, you'll get the ambient effect. To a greater or lesser degree, you may have to mess with the energy settings a little more if you want to get your desired results. But I simply like to, I don't really use ambient light, so I just like to increase the energy slightly. And there you have it. Easy enough. It's a pretty good effect. Alright, thanks for watching.